Hello, I'm Rosemary, and this is my mom. We are doing the mother-daughter tag. So, if you guys want to know about her, this is the video to watch. So, this is my first video of doing on YouTube. Um, Rosemary's done a couple of videos. I know she's done three videos, and so I'm new to all of this. And I told Rosemary, why don't we just make a... Um, a YouTube video of both of us today. Oh, last minute. <laughs> yeah. And so, I, I want to be on YouTube, right? Hopefully, I can get famous with me and Rosemary, and we're just doing our thing. We're on red carpet. And well, um, people who watch these videos, if you can please press the su su how do you say it? <laughs> subscribe button and like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah, please do, because me and Rosemary were like the coolest... Not kids, but, you know, I see myself as a kid, but uh, we're, like, the coolest mom and daughter in this whole freaking planet, you know? Like, we do everything together, and I'm very supportive of my daughter, and um, sometimes people think that's my sister, or they're like, <laughs> hey, Rosemary, is that your aunt? And she's like, who? That's my mom. <laughs> and, and then, you know, they're like, your mom is so young, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to look like no old mama. I want to look like a cool, fly mama. But anyways... Um, so I'm going to ask today Rosemary some questions today, and then she's going to ask me certain questions, and so, um, hopefully the questions that you hear from us, you can relate to them, or, like, send us a comment about it, you know, and then hopefully we can hit you guys up and yeah. give you our ideas and thoughts about it. So if you guys want to ask us more questions or have more videos with my mom in it, um, please like and comment that um, comment questions about what do you guys want to know about us so that we can just tell you guys in the video. Okay. Well, Rosemary, um, first question is, how is it to be in sixth grade? Like, how do you feel about being in sixth grade? What's the challenges? Well, I've just gotten sixth grade a couple of months ago, so <clears throat> if people don't know that. So, um, sixth grade's tough, but uh, some people in seventh grade are say it's easier. It's easier while, when you're in seventh grade. So hopefully that's true. You know what? I can see why it's easier being in seventh grade because since you're in sixth grade, you're learning like all these different classes that you have, and then you got to carry all these heavy books. And I mean, literally, Rosemary carries like twenty pounds worth of rocks in her backpack. It's just crazy. <laughs> like the girl looks like she's going off to college, and she's only in sixth grade. Well, my mom, she's always my mom's always asking me why I have so many books because lots of kids in my class they have. Their backpacks are so full, but they never carry them in their hands. And I'm always carrying, like, two books in my hands and, like, like four of them in my backpack. Yeah, so, you know, I know it must be really tough being a sixth grader, especially, you know, you're headed into middle school and there's new challenges, new teachers, you know, new kids. But um, at least at Rosemary School, she goes from a school from kindergarten to eighth grade. So it wasn't too much of a challenge on on, you know, going to somewhere new, but it's just new teachers, new classrooms, and I think there's a couple of new kids. And, um, yeah, it must be really hard being a sixth grader. Um, what's your favorite sport that you like playing there? My favorite sport's basketball, and my second sport would probably be volleyball. Okay, well, I mean, why basketball first? I just like playing basketball. It's fun because, like... Usually, it's fun if you're playing with somebody else, so then you can be, like, challenged, and it's really fun, so people that are not athletic, you should try it out. Okay, you know, Rosemary, her ethnicity or nationality, she, I'm Salvadorian, and her dad is um, black and Puerto Rican, if so I may... you wanted to know, so yeah, there's one and, question. And okay. so... I was letting Rosemary know, like, hey, girl, you should play basketball because, you know, you, you got that black side in you, girl, and you know in the NBA it ain't nothing but the brothers out there, you know? So I was like, I need to start passing that ball to my daughter, man. She's going to be the one making all them shots. I'm just kidding. And I'm always making the shot at um, when the buzzer hits. So when it's like, beep, my, I always make it in. Yeah, and so the good thing like, is Rosemary's super tall, too. <laughs> I'm tall, too. I'm 5'7". And so I think Rosemary's like... Well, I think she's like 5'4", and she's only 11, so she's going to be tall. What bothers me sometimes when people are like, wow, she's super tall, and I'm looking at them like, uh, I'm not short myself. <laughs> she gets her tallness from her mother. Her dad's pretty kind of tiny. He's short. Uh, I think he's like 5'5", five, five or 5'6". Five, he's a little tiny little guy. Um, 
But yeah, thank God my daughter, I mean, she gets her tallness from me, you know, because then later down the line, she could be like this top supermodel, you know, for, for like Victoria's Secrets or, <laughs> no, I shouldn't say Victoria's Secrets, but her head, her head, she should be focused on school and, you know. My mom wants me to go to college because, like, she says nobody in her family goes to college. Well, Rose, I'm hoping that Rosemary does go to college and go to state university because she'll be like the first one out of my family, my family to go off to college, you know, when it comes to my family, they only saw a dream of going to high school because for them, I guess, them growing up, high school was big to them. And then I'm letting my parents know, high school is not going to get you anywhere nowadays. You're going to have to have a college degree, a bachelor's, a master's, um, in order for you to get far in your life, in order for you to get paid very well, you know? These are mom tips. These are what moms really want your ch children to do. And so, and my mom's pretty much telling you all the questions. Yeah. So, like I said, like you know, my baby, if she got any problems in school or there's somebody that she can't talk to, she always comes to me and asks me, "Mom, what can I do about this? How can I um, resolve this issue?" You know. And so I've always been open about my daughter, open about things, and I've always kept it 100 with my daughter. You know, on the things she got to do, and I think I've been very blessed on having a good daughter like Rosemary. She's a good kid. She really is. Well, here's one question. How many siblings do you have in, like, all of your family? I have seven siblings. I have four brothers and two sisters, and I'm the baby in the family. But I'm the troublemaker in the family. <laughs> so I'm always getting in trouble because I'm never doing things right. <sighs> I have one sibling. It's my sister. And yeah, and then she's the troublemaker of the family too. She's always starting problems with us. She got it from somebody. She got it from her mama. <laughs> she sure did. She got it from her mama. She's just a troublemaker like her mama. That's Miss Popularity. That girl is popular with everybody. <laughs> Even in my school, like everybody's like your sister is the most cutest little girl ever. And I feel like I wanted to go run like for like president or like treasurer this year again because I feel like I'm more popular just because of my sisters in my school now. And now that I'm in junior high, I feel like people notice me more. So I hope you do win this year. I really do. <laughs> me and my mom tried last year, but I didn't win. I really wanted to know how many I lost by. That would have told me so much. But so yeah, but you know what? It's all about you getting back in the game and not getting discouraged by it. And then hopefully you do win this year. And, you know, it was like short notice when you did tell me when you was running. So we wasn't really prepared about things. But, you know, this time we're going to win. We're going to win you two. Woo! Yeah. But um, I think for the running, it's like late, no, early June or late May when she starts to run. So she can be elected. So they they elect the person uh, a year early. Or no, not a year. Just a. I, I don't know how it works, but hopefully she does win. Um, is there any other questions you want to ask me, bro? Um, I was about to say something. For, <laughs> for I'm over here taking the whole YouTube video. This yeah. is supposed to be Rosemary's video. Well, um, I want to ask something. I forgot what I was gonna ask. Well, let me ask you this. What what's so hard being an older sister, a big sister? What are like the It's hard so like if you're in school and you need to ask your sister something, like she you would have an older sister, so Giselle's lucky my sister's lucky, her name's Giselle. And she's lucky because when she's older she'll probably need to ask me she's probably gonna come to me first instead of my mom and ask me, um, if she needs help on stuff like homework or school or like friends. So, like, I will always be there for her. What's the, like, what's the hard part, though? Like Responsibility. Yeah, Rosemary has a lot of responsibilities. Um, she has helped me so much out with her little sister. Um, I'm a single mom, so Rosemary's, like, the second mom of Giselle, and she's always helping oh, me out. I remember what I was going to say. Um, if you guys want me to do more videos, hopefully my mom for Christmas will get me, like, some better stuff. Where I can make better videos and get more subscribers, um, please. <laughs> and hopefully I will, because I really want to get a lot of videos. And um, hopefully soon I can get my P.O. box for you guys can send me stuff if you want to. Because I would love that. I would love that. One so more much. thing. 
one more thing before we like shut this whole thing down. But there's this like really good candy. You really like? I really did. The sour I like, spaghetti. I like the blue ones. The blue ones were really good. They were awesome. They were really really good. Really good. Which like, one did you like? And there was I like a, I like sour patches. Wait, what else do I like? <gasps> if you want my sister. And me or my dad to do this bean boozle challenge. Let me go get it real quick. Keep talking. Yeah. I really do. I like them. There are some green ones. I ate all the blue ones and the red ones. It's called, it's um, called the green ones are like the green apples. And then the red one must be the strawberries. And then the, the blue ones are the blueberries. I really like the strawberry ones. Um, It's called Sour Spaghetti. We got this, like, at a liquor store where we live at, so... But they probably sell these things everywhere. Yeah, but it's it's from the Hoka, like, Harold Berry. It's a really famous brand for, like, um, gummy bears and gummy worms and a whole bunch of gummy stuff. And this is the Bean Boozle Challenge. And this is the Bean Boozle Challenge. And if you want me... Or my sister and my dad to try this out. It's really cool because um in the back there's two of um sorry <laughs> there's two of each kind and one you guys can both get the same thing just like um if you guys one of you guys get moldy cheese or caramel corn they they look alike they look very like so one, you guys can get the same thing, or you guys can get the the bad thing. So, or one of you guys can win. So, yeah. All right. So we're gonna say good. Um, see you later. Never say goodbye because goodbye is forever. So see you later and kiss, kiss. And Bye. hopefully she gets me some stuff for Christmas. For we can do a lot of videos. Say like if you want to know how to do a hair tutorial, cause. I have a lot of hair. Yeah. And if you ever need mother and daughter advice, you can always hit us up. I'm yeah. like... You can ask me to get... Um, if you want my mom to give you guys some tips on stuff, and she'll be in the video, and I'll probably just be in the background or something. All right. So, guys, see you later. Bye.